Hey everybody, today I'm going to be explaining self-joins. A self-join is really just any type of join where you join together another copy of a table to itself. They're used to compare rows of the same table. They really help with displaying a hierarchy of data. So a self-join, you just join another copy of a table to itself. So here's an example. I have a table of customers. I'm going to create another column named referred by. If a customer refers somebody and they register as a new customer, maybe they get like a free meal or something. Let's create a new column within our customers table. Alter table customers add referral ID. The data type will be int. Then select all from customers. Now let's populate this column. Update customers set referral ID equal to one where customer ID equals two. Our first customer, Fred Fish, he was not referred by anybody. That value will be null. However, Larry Lobster was referred by Fred Fish. We'll set the referral ID for him to be one. Larry Lobster was referred by Fred Fish. So Fred Fish gets a free meal at the Krusty Krab. Now, Larry Lobster, he's going to refer both Bubble Bass and Poppy Puff. So he'll get two free meals. Set referral ID equal to two, where customer ID equals three and four. Fred Fish referred Larry Lobster. Larry Lobster referred Bubble Bass and Poppy Puff. It makes me think of a pyramid scheme. I'm going to use a self-join to replace our referral ID column with the first and last name of the customer that referred one of these people. So I'm going to select all. Now when using a self-join, we'll take from our table customers, then inner join customers. Basically we're just joining another copy of a table to itself, but we'll need to give these tables what's known as an alias, a nickname. Let's say from customers as maybe A, that's the nickname. Inner join customers as B. The original copy of our customers table will be referred to as A. The copy will be B. They are the exact same table, but we have two of them and we'll stitch them together with a join. To link these tables by the referral ID and the customer ID, I'll add this additional line. On referral ID equals customer ID. Let's take a look to see what we have so far. Column referral ID in on clause is ambiguous. Am I referring to the referral ID of table A or table B? I'm referring to the referral ID of table A. What I'll do is prefix this column name with the name of my table followed by dot. A dot referral ID equals, I need the customer ID from my table copy, which is known as B. I will prefix B to this customer ID column. The referral ID of table A is linked to the customer ID of table B. Oh yeah, look at that. We have joined these two tables. The referral ID of table A is linked to the customer ID of table B. I don't necessarily need all of these columns. We're displaying everything. Let's select only specific columns. I would like a customer ID, first name, last name. Now we have one problem. With our first name and last name, do we mean the first and last name columns of table A or table B? Let's prefix these columns with the name of our table, the alias we're using. I would like the first name from table A, the last name from table A, followed by, I'm going to put this on a new line just for readability, the first name of table B, then the last name of table B then be sure to include that within the customer ID too. So the customer ID of table A. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Customer ID, first name, last name, first name, last name. Okay, so if somebody were looking at this table, they would think, why are there two columns for both first name and last name? Let's concatenate these two columns. Concat, first name, last name. I'll add a space in between the first name and last name. I'm going to give this column an alias as referred by. 
All right, there's our table. We have all of our customers who were referred by another customer. Larry Lobster was referred by Fred Fish. Bubble Bass and Poppy Puff were both referred by Larry Lobster. You could use a different type of join besides an inner join. We could use a left join. What we're telling MySQL is to display all of our customers on the left table. If one of these customers was referred by another customer, join those rows as well. You can see that with the left join, that Fred Fish is still within our table, but he wasn't referred by anybody, that value is null. So that's one example of a self-join. We're creating another copy of the same table, then joining it together to the original, but you'll need to give each table an alias, a unique nickname. Here's another example of a self-join. Let's select all from our employees table. In our employees table, Mr. Krabs is a manager, Sandy Cheeks is an assistant manager. Let's add an additional column named supervisor ID. To who does each of these employees report to? Squidward, SpongeBob, and Patrick, and Sheldon, they will all report to Sandy, who's an assistant manager. Sandy will report to Mr. Krabs, he's the main manager, and Mr. Krabs doesn't report to anybody. Let's add another column. Alter table employees add supervisor ID. The data type is int. And there's our new column. Update employees set supervisor ID equal to five. That would be Sandy. She's the assistant manager. Where employee ID equals two. That would be Squidward. Squidward is now supervised by Sandy. Three. That's for SpongeBob. Four is Patrick. Six is Sheldon Plankton. Now Sandy, her supervisor ID is going to be one. She is supervised by Mr. Krabs. Set supervisor ID equal to one, where employee ID equals five. And here we are. Using a self-join, we are going to display the first and last names of all of our employees, along with the full name of the person that's supervising them, because currently we only have supervisor ID. Let's utilize a self-join. First, let's select all from our table, employees. We'll need to give this table an alias as a, that's the original. Let's do an inner join. Inner join employees as B. B will be the copy. How are we going to link these? On the supervisor ID of table A equals the employee ID of table B. All right, we still have one massive table, but we can see here that Sandy appears in multiple rows, which is a good start. We don't necessarily need all of this. Let's select the first name and last name of table A, a.firstname, a.lastname. Then I'm going to concatenate the first and last name of table B. So concat b.firstname. I'll add a space between the first name and last name. B.lastName. I'm going to give this column an alias. That's really ugly. As reports to. That's much better. All right, we have our hierarchy of data. Squidward, SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sheldon Plankton, they all report to Sandy. Sandy, she reports to Mr. Krabs. Then Mr. Krabs doesn't report to anybody. If you would like all of your employees, even if they don't report to anybody, you could instead use a left join. Because a left join, we will display all of the rows from our table on the left. So Eugene Krabs is here, but he doesn't report to anybody. So yeah, basically speaking, that's a self-join. You can use any type of join, but the tables you use are the same one. You use the original table, then a copy of that table, but you'll need to give them an alias to distinguish them. When we're selecting the first and last names of our tables, are we referring to the original table, which I named as A, or the copy? Because that makes a difference. With self-joins, they're great if you ever need to display a hierarchy of data involving the same table. 
But yeah, that is a self-join in MySQL.